What up? This is Austin St. John, Jason, the original Red Ranger. You are watching Action Activate. If you're not watching, why aren't you watching? You should be watching. You know you want to watch. You're not watching. Maybe you should see a doctor. I don't know, man. Maybe you should call the Power Rangers. I'm just saying because it's Action Activate, and that's where it's at. Much love. All right. Hey, this is Action Activate. I'm Alex, also known as the Big Dog Defender. And with me is Austin St. John, the original Red Ranger himself. Thank you for being here. Thank you for taking the time yeah. for the interview. How's the show been for you so far? Uh, it's been good. I mean, a lot of friendly people outgoing. Uh, I think Schwarzenegger is over there killing it right now. He's uh, he's a busy man. Yeah. But I mean, you know, he's the Terminator. Come on. Oh, absolutely. Although I don't think his show was in 40 countries and 90 languages. So, well, what show was he on? I mean. What show, what show was that? Exactly. I don't know. Was he even on a show? No. Nah. Completely nah. different. I, yeah. I'll Who needs you... that guy? You know, I'm just saying. Well, uh, <laughs> obviously, you're here to promote Power Rangers. That's what you're known for. And with you coming back in the current series, how was kind of getting that news and kind of bringing, <clears throat> being brought back to the franchise at, uh, after the anniversary and everything? You know, they've, they've asked me to come back every year for a lot of years. Um, and I've turned them down every year for a lot of years. And um, it was this year, the executive producer, it turns out he was someone I worked with originally way back. And uh, he reached out to me personally rather than through casting. And I just thought, you know, what are you going to do script wise? And he was like, well, are you willing to, to come back? I said, well, what are you going to do script wise? And uh, so he gave me a rundown of what he thought they were going to write. And I was like, all right, I'll do that. And uh, so I came back and I had a I had a great time and uh, we filmed in New Zealand. It was it's New Zealand. I mean, if you, ha you haven't been, you need to go. It's beautiful. Um, and I can't say anything else other than I'm back and we filmed in New Zealand yet. So with your character, obviously coming back with that, keeping everything hush hush till it goes. But also in the comics, I don't know how caught up you are on where Jason is there, but what are kind of your thoughts and where you want him to go in uh, the main Mighty Morphin series? You know, I, I think I've got through the, the first five or six comics um, and I loved kind of the, the general direction they took Power Rangers, but um, and then I started hearing about Omega Ranger and I was just in San Diego and they asked me to come to the booth. They're like, hey, would you stop by and take a picture with the helmet? And I was busy and I, I couldn't make it by. But um, I wonder, it kind of kind of seems like they've set the crew off to go do a almost a special forces thing. Like, OK, here's the Rangers. And then here's the pimps, you know, so uh, pimps and pimpettes. I don't know, whatever. Um, if you're offended, I'm sorry. Not really. Um, we've all got thick skin by, you know, by now. Yeah. So, you know, anyway, it's, um, I'm really kind of curious to see, I love the whole Jason and Trini. Somebody gave me a quick mm -hmm. storyline on that. And that's the way I always felt. Trini was always my favorite. Mm -hmm. And, uh, that's who I would have dated. Never would have dated Kimberly. There's no Jimberly here. All right. Tracen. Is that, is that even a thing? Tracen? That'll, that'll work. Hey, Tracen. Okay. All right. Trini. Yeah. Yeah. That could work. So Tracen would have been a possibility. I love the whole suit swap thing. Although it took me a minute. I'm like, Ooh, yellow. Wait, how do I really feel about that? But um, so I love some of the bits and pieces, but I, uh, I need to read some more to get more of the details in there. You saw the new video game that came out. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So I, uh, they called me back to do to drop my voice for that. And uh, that was a lot of fun. I get people that come up all the time. They're like, dude, you gave me goosebumps. They were like the speech. I was like, wow, I forgot that. I need to hear it again because I haven't heard it. I mean, obviously I was there when I did it, but it's something else to sit back and actually hear it. And I never really watched my stuff. So I thought, you yeah, know, maybe I need to give that a listen. I don't know. We'll see. I got a lot of stuff going on. Got another film we just sold to Vivint called A Walk With Grace. Um, Daniel Baldwin, uh, David Lee Smith, Ashley Bratcher, some guys from CSI Miami. It's doing well. It was on, uh, I don't know, some big magazine caught it. I can't remember which one. You can tell I'm not into publicity. I don't really care. I'm pretty straightforward. Um, and then my video game, Black Salt Corruption. So that's out. We're going to be on Xbox, PlayStation, and, uh, and Nintendo by the end of the year. So lots of stuff. Charities. 
and more. So with all of the projects you have going on, obviously a lot of travel, are there any places you haven't been to yet that you're looking forward to visiting for the first time? Yeah, Antwerp, uh, Belgium. I'm looking forward to, to checking them out. Um, I heard it's a great show, great people. Uh, Jakarta, Indonesia later this year, looking forward to that. Uh, I haven't been that way yet. Love to do uh, Manila. I'd love to see the Philippines. I've, I've worked with a lot of people uh, from the Philippines and just, just following their languages. Uh, what it, so they have Tagalog and uh, Trafikano. And uh, Trafikano I do okay with because I have some Spanish, but Tagalog is whew, over my head. Um, so, you know, but I've got a little bit of German, a little bit of Russian. So when I get to Antwerp, I'm sure I'm going to get a serious education. And uh, yeah, I mean, anywhere. I, I love just kind of spinning the globe and going, I want to go there. Do and you have anything great. at home that, that kind of shows all the places you've been or are you just keeping track on your own? You know, for a while I had an app that would allow you to pick all the cities and countries you'd been in. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I plugged in a ton and it turned out to only be 17% of the Earth's surface. I was like, well, basically they told me you haven't really been anywhere. And I'm like, every continent, well, almost. And I'm just sitting here thinking, how... 17%. It seems like I've been to like 80, you know, but anyway, there's humility for you. So you're saying that the Power Morph Con 2022 will be in Antarctica just to check that off the list? I need to check that box. I need to check that box. Either that or I'm just going to go up and hang out with, you know, the indigenous population. Um, Shoot a third thing movie, make John Carpenter something, proud. Something like that. Yeah, I could do that. What was the, uh, what was the one? I don't remember what it was. It was all night, like the six months of, of summer. Days a night in Alaska. Was that with the vampire thing? Yeah. I would so do that. I would have a great time with a vampire slasher, zombie-esque. Oh, that would be, you just got me excited. All right, so if you're writing one and you got money, let me know. We'll do. We'll get it produced. So with all these projects, where are the best places for people to follow you and keep up with everything you're doing? Uh, easiest thing to do is just go to my website, austinstjohn.biz. And if you scroll all the way down, all of my social media links are there. So you can find everything. Everything from jewelry line to, and I'm getting ready to rebuild the website. So there's going to be links to all the charities that, uh, that I work with, Healthier Choices for a Hungry Child, AutismPower.org, Heartland Image Foundation, production company I work with, Flyover State Productions uh, or Entertainment, uh, and 10 million other things between the video game and other films and stuff I've done. So uh, the TV series I did last year or the year before, Amazon Prime, it's called Fireball Run. I did season 11 called Big Country. A lot of fun. Uh, I'm shot in real time. It's good times. And, uh, you know, it, all kinds of stuff. So I got a lot going on. Perfect. One final question I want to ask. I know watching you as a child on Power Rangers really got me inspired to train in martial arts. What's kind of something you would say to kids now that want to get into it, jumping back in, especially with you coming back, that you would kind of want to share with not just kids, I guess, but anybody wanting to jump into martial arts? There's a... You know, all things evolve in time. I mean, I have no idea what it was truly like 2,500 years ago in Kung Fu or, you know, 3,500 years ago with the Dayan arts that, that predate Kung Fu or, I mean, so I can't really speak to that. I mean, I can tell you what I've read, but you could read it yourself. So when you come to current martial arts today, I would, I would, my first martial art was Judo, which is sportified. Obviously it's in the Olympics. Uh, almost anything you hear with Do at the end of it is sportified. Um, and those are great. They're, they're great martial arts, Tang Sudo, Taekwondo, um, and on and on and on. Um, they're great for youngsters in that it, you know, you build confidence and you, you go through the whole board of integrity and honor and discipline and, and so on, whatever the mantra may be. I would say go for it. But as you grow older, do I really need to be able to take this foot and put it upside your face? Is it fun? Absolutely. But I can get my hands there seven times in the same time span. So seven times faster, far more efficient, something to consider. And in today's world, everybody, even, I mean, you've got guys who are eighth, ninth grandmaster and whatever martial art and kudos, hats off. But even those guys, have had enough exposure to other arts from guys that are coming in. And if they're really good, they've got other guys coming into their dojo to expand. So 
I was born and raised, I mean, I started as a, as a grappler with judo, and then I went into strike fighting almost my entire life. And then I found the ground game later in, uh, in BJJ, and I did some Machado style uh, jits also. But I think that the, the general rule, you want to do Taekwondo, great. WTO, WTF, uh, whichever federation or organization you want to be a part of, great, have it, do it, it's a ton of fun. But at some point, if you're serious about street tactics, how to survive on the street, you need to look at uh, blending your strike fighting game with a great transition and ground game. So, uh, you know, you take your Taekwondo, add maybe Kenpo, add small circle jujitsu, and then you need some BJJ. Um, Taido, Niwaza, Chinese kickboxing, one of my favorite. It's, they shift and put strong hand forward. So, and they do that based on the premise that Everything. So if you look at, uh, you go to boxing, 80% of the knockouts come off of the jab. Well, if I'm Western boxing, my strong hand's strong behind hand's me, career. Chinese kickboxing, they tell you, why not put that 80% to work on the fast hand? Yep. And um, never forgot it. One of my favorites. And it allows me to fight on either side, whether I'm strike, whether I'm setting up transition or whether we're going to the ground. And a huge proportion of fights end up on the ground. Somebody trips, falls. Whatever happens, happens. Sweep, whatever. Yeah, sweep, take down, hip throw, whatever you want to do with it. You get there and you need to be able to manage it, not when you land, but on the way. Mm -hmm. You need to already be ahead of that. So I guess the moral of my story is have your fun, but at some point you need to, to become hybrid. And uh, especially if you're competing, if, if you're really doing full contact, you've got to be hybrid. Um, you walk in knowing just one art. Uh, maybe if it's jujitsu, you got you got a shot. Um, Jits is kind of a it's its own thing, man. You come out of a Gracie school, I got nothing but respect for you. If you got a Gracie Black, nothing but respect. Um, but aside from that being the standalone art, if you're another Black somewhere else, you better be you better be hybrid, or you're not going to survive too long. And I wouldn't want to be grappling on the street um, for obvious reasons. So you you do need a strike game, BJJ one on one. All you need to know. But what if he's got friends? So it just, I mean, we could go on all over the place with this stuff, yeah. but I, I love paying attention to all the other arts. I love reading the origins, Wing Chun, Wushu, Tai Chi, Tai Chi Chuan, Qigong, Qigong, and where all the different names and pronunciations come from and why, and, uh, and just- took from what art and yeah. adapted in a different way, like yeah. Jeet Kune Do, for example, taking everything prior yep. and that's awesome. Yeah, so um, it's just, you know what? I, I think last time I actually looked, there was somewhere around 2,000 or 2,500 different arts. You know, and, and people talk to me, they're like, oh, how many have you been through? And I'm like, well, I've dabbled in about 23 different systems. They're like, that's a lot. I'm like, add a couple zeros to that, yeah. and we'll talk about a lot of martial arts. Um, it, there's just so much. You can spend a lifetime in one art, and uh, man, hats off to you if that's what you want to do. One of my favorite stories Judo Joe. Do you know Judo Joe? I do not. Google Judo Joe. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna break it down. One of the most inspiring late starts mm -hmm. I've ever read. Really cool. He's out of England. Check him out. One teaser for it. How old was he when he started? Paul Parkwards. Forty nine ish. Wow. I, I okay. think. Um, maybe maybe a little a little later. And um, it, just check it out. It's a great story. It'll put a smile on your face. Share it with somebody. Awesome. Thank you so much. You. Uh, and have a great rest of the show. Thanks. And this is Action Activate with Austin St. John and to the power. Two, we're in Delaware. Perfect.